Hi, this is um Dan Soy, amateur cook, aka Batman in the kitchen. Welcome to the food zone. We take this journey together, learning recipes as one. Today is a um normal upload on the weekly schedule. We're gonna make a curry shrimp with um ramen noodles, but um we're gonna vary it. So um for today's recipe. These onions are called many different things across the world in the USA. Where I live, they're called scallions, but they're white, white and green onions. Got red bell pepper. We have these um, ramen noodles. And when we do this, these ramen noodles have packages in them, seasoning. We're not going to um, use those. We're just going to use the noodles. Got snow peas. I did this shrimp 24 hours ahead of time. The shrimp is really nice in color. All it was was um, cooked in olive oil and onion powder for um, for um, four minutes, and um, I added a little bit of sea salt. And then we have um, green curry um, sauce right there, or paste, whatever you want to call it. So it's basically um, a green curry shrimp and noodles. But you could um, use whatever noodles you want. It's up to you. And the thing we're going to do is um, we're going to go right to the pan first. And we're going to do the pepper and the snow peas. And then after that's getting that started, we're going to go and we're going to just warm that ramen there. And we're just going to drain it and just use the noodles. Um, and um, But basically with this um, recipe, you can um, vary it. You can use um, whatever noodles you want. Rice noodles, udon, whatever you want. It's your cook. All right, so we cut up that bell pepper. And we have the olive oil in there. If you wanted to use other oil, like sesame oil, or other things you could, but it could affect the green curry um, sauce, the taste of it. So um, we have that pepper in there. And next we're gonna um, just cut up some snow peas. All right, so we have the peppers in there. We have our um, water um, on, we're gonna boil that. And um, I cut up the snow peas. So throw these snow peas in there. And um, you're going to want to cook this for two or three minutes. Once it's um, cooked and it's tender, then um, throw in that shrimp. We'll put it on low. And then we'll go right to the um, water. Hopefully it's boiled. Then we'll throw in that ramen. And um, then after that, we'll throw the ramen back into this, this pan and... Um, We'll put, put the curry sauce in and top it with the um, green part of that onion and then we're all set. Alright, so we've been cooking that for a minute or so. Um, just to add a little bit more touch to that, um, just throw in um, just a little bit of garlic. Just give it a little bit of a garlic taste. So, that's like totally optional. Just mix this all together. You see the steam and everything? And, um... We're almost done with this process. All right, so we cooked that for about um, three minutes. Now take your shrimp that you already cooked, or if you, or if you cooked it the day before, throw it in there. These couple shrimp do not want to come out. <laughs> so now um, put your pan on low. I mean, yeah, put the stove on low. Make sure that's on low. And um, this will bring the flavors of the shrimp out. So, just leave that there. Our water is almost boiled. Um, the thing we're going to do next is um, we're going to take this ramen. And it's up to you. You can use one or two packages. Whatever you think is going to be best. And um, But we're not going to use the packages inside. If you want it, you could. But it's going to probably... Um, change the flavor of that green curry so um with this recipe i really don't want to do that so um we got this on low we're just going to keep stirring it and um let's just wait for our water and we'll throw a package in there all right so we have this on low um and that's all set the water is almost there so um i decided just to use one thing of ramen i'm going to keep the other one for another recipe and this um seasoning just put it aside with your spices and you could use it as on another one but um for the amount of stuff i have right now that'd be good that ramen because um 
I don't have a lot of shrimp and um, veggies here. So um, just do that. Once that's done, we'll throw that in there and um, get that together and then we'll throw the curry on there. While we're waiting, take that green onion and just um, dice up the end a little bit just to add some green to the top of it. All right, so our ramen is um, boiling away. Our shrimp, snow peas, and peppers are um, done. I cut up some of that green part of the onion. And um, next the thing is we're going to add the ramen to the um, pan. And then we'll add the curry. And then we'll top it with the green part of the onion. And we're set. You can just eat away. It makes for a healthy meal. Something different. All right, so our ramen is done. We're gonna um, bring that to the pan soon. But if you want, take some of this um, curry sauce and um, add a little bit of it in there. Get some of it in there. And then, um, sorry, having problems today. Take this green curry sauce and mix it in. Get it into the shrimp and vegetables a little bit. And then we'll add the ramen, and then we'll decide if we need more of that curry sauce. So just mix that together. All right, so we added that curry um, sauce in there. Now with your ramen, take that and throw some in your pan. So the thing you're going to want to do is just get this ramen in there. You see how the steam is? And... Um, just start mixing it together and then we'll add some more curry. All right, so we got that in there. Just start mixing this all together. We're gonna definitely have to add more curry, but get it all blended together. And then um, we'll add the curry and garnish it with um, the green onion. And then we'll um, either put it in a bowl or on a plate. But that's how you make really quick green curry shrimp with ramen all right so we have that blended together now you're going to want to take the rest of your green curry and um put in what you think you need then when you're done just blend it together like we did before and we're set then we'll just throw some green onion in there if you want and um we'll plate it so it's that easy all right, so you see that we have um, that all mixed together. Next, we're gonna do is take some of these green scallion parts or green onion, whatever you wanna call it, where you live, and just um, throw it in there. So now you have the option of um, making a um, bowl out of this or putting it on a plate. I think I'll put it in a bowl. All right, YouTube and Facebook, that's how you make a green curry ramen bowl in 10 minutes. It goes a lot quicker if you cook the shrimp ahead of time. But um, you can see where that is. So um, you enjoy your day. This is um, your Monday upload. You be safe. I bring you um, uploads on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can find me on Facebook under Danny Franklin Amateur Cook or the, or, or the media page of Dan Soy. That's actually my poetry and um, cooking too. But um, like I said, I bring you um, at least uploads Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and I bring you bonus ones other days. But this is how to make a really healthy and savory green curry shrimp ramen bowl. So um, enjoy. Sorry about the late today. We're having a massive storm on the east coast of um, Canada and USA. It's been like two, three inches of rain. I usually use um, natural light for my videos. And if you could tell the cheesesteak one with the yellow cheese whiz, that was during the day with the natural light. I don't like to use um, light, artificial light. But um, there's your bowl. I'll be bringing you more um, videos. And um, I just came up with a couple new ideas um, the other day. And I'll be bringing them to you soon. They're really good for kids. They're good for kid recipes. And um, because kids love hot dogs. Kids love tacos. Kids love pizza. But you can also make it for yourself. So talk to you later.
God bless. Peace. Dan Soy.